All right. So back at you with another Super Eagles transfer update. Last time we talked about Finiti George and his situation with a and by Football Club. And we got a little bit more clarification on the situation. Before we get into this story and a couple others, and before you sit back and relax, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. So it was reported that Finiti George, along with all the other coaches on the staff, were sacked and they were told to reapply for the job within 24 hours. Now that part of the story was completely true, but what was up in the air was the reason behind the decision and who made the decision, who was behind the decision. And now we got an answer to those two questions because it has been reported that the new government in Albia State have been on the hunt for ghost workers and I guess by sacking everybody and telling them to reapply again that will give you a better understanding on who's the real and who's the fake so long story short it was a statewide situation not just one with the coaching staff and a and by it was a statewide thing orders from above so definitely had nothing to do with Kano Wankwa or anybody else running a and by right now so this kind of really explains everything but I'm still not not a fan of what happened here this is not just anybody we're talking about this is finiti george this is a super eagles legend this is the a and box coach this is the man that just won the league for you i mean a little bit of respect in this type of situation yes you're trying to find ghost workers but everybody in Nigeria knows Finiti George is aimed by his coach. He is not a ghost worker. So at least you could have just bypassed him. Okay, everybody else is sacked apart from Finiti George. Yes, you'll get your job back. But when we put that you got fired in the news, it's not going to make that much of a storm. But now that you put Finiti George got fired, you see how everybody is coming out. Just like what's going on? It didn't make sense. It's not something that should have been done. And I just feel like that's not cool right there. Now moving on, and we definitely have to talk about Kelechi Wankali, Super Eagles midfielder Kelechi Wankali recently moved from SD Ponferradina in the Spanish third division. They just got relegated and he's gonna go to the Portuguese first division, GD Chavez. And that's a congratulations, congratulations right there. So Kelechi, of course, was part of the under-17 World Cup winning team in 2015. He won the golden ball in that competition. Now, moving forward, his career didn't go as planned in Europe. He has bounced around from club to club. Now, even during that time, he was always a good performer for the Nigerian teams. You go back to the Team B matchup against Atletico Madrid. He scored a goal in that match the under 23s he did real well for him then he got the lifeline of going to the AFCON with Iguavon, Augustin Iguavon's team and he had some nice performances in that competition was sick against Tunisia I found out a little bit later he was sick against Tunisia and that's why he missed the match but from that moment, things went completely downhill. He went back to his club and was suspended. They tried to get rid of his contract. It was a big situation. A whole bunch of Nigerians went to his club. Social media is handled. Started just giving them all kind of hell over there. So congratulations to those people. But that being said, he moved to SD Ponferradina the next season. Went to Ponferradina. Had a pretty good season in my opinion. But Ponferradina got relegated. He's definitely not going to be playing in the third division. And that's when we get to this move to GD Chavez. GD Chavez is a club that recently got into the Portuguese first division. In their first season, they ended in seventh position. And now they're trying to go for another season in the top flight. So according to reports, this will be a two-year deal that will end in June of 2025. And this will be the second time Kelechi Wakali will be playing in Portugal. Of course, he represented FC Porto before. Now, when it comes to the Super Eagles, this situation is not going to give him an instant call-up into the team. 
but he has a good platform for himself. If he does well in this league, I'm pretty sure that whoever is coaching the Super Eagles will give him a chance. Now, moving on and last of the updates, we're going to talk about Giff Urban and speculation surrounding the Gantt forward. So lately, there have been reports about a couple of teams in the French top flight, RC Lens and Lille, but none too concrete about either of these situations. The Lille one is the one most talked about recently but I don't really see too much in that situation because they already have a striker and they're only looking at Giff Urban if somebody picks up their striker that's somebody meaning Tottenham and that's why I don't really see too much in that right there because Harry Kane has to be sold then Tottenham looks for their replacement with Lil then Lil look for the replacement of that replacement with Give Auburn. So a couple of things have to happen before that move can even be a thought. And it's just about the same situation with RC Lens. They also have a striker that they're trying to get rid of and give Auburn. It seems to be the replacement striker. Honestly, what I have to say about this situation is simple. If Gif Auburn was Brazilian or English, he'll be worth like 200 million pounds. And that's a fact because what he's doing is just crazy. He is scoring for fun. He's scoring in his sleep. He wakes up, scores a goal, wants to go to sleep, scores a goal again. I mean, this guy is unstoppable, and they're acting like, hey, this is just any other player. I mean, for his age and what he has done so far, it's just surprising that more teams are not at the door knocking for this type of talent. That being said, let me know your thoughts on these three stories. Finiti, Georgia, and a and by Kalechi Wankali getting a new club, and GIF Urban Speculations. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and please don't forget to like this video, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.